All right, in this video, I'm going to show you my drum setup in Harrison Mix Bus. Uh, so first thing you got to do is you have to have a MIDI track, which is what I've created right here. And you can see it also right here. It says MIDI. Okay, don't worry about these drums right here. I'm not actually using that. Yeah, I'll delete the drums. All right, so I got MIDI. Then I've created seven. Is it seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Seven mono audio tracks, and then two stereo audio tracks. So the two stereos are for the overheads and the rooms, and then the monos are for the kick snares and toms and hi hat. All right, so back over to Mixer View. In order to route things out properly, we need to go ahead and from this view, you need to click on the top panel, go to Out, then Routing Grid. And there may be a shortcut for that, but I'm not quite sure what that is as of right now. Um, I've had Mixbus for a little while, but I don't use it as much just because I'm not as fast. But I'm starting to use it more just so I can get faster with it. So there's eight stereo outputs. So eight times two is 16. So you would think, well, I thought that the mono out started at nine because I had, you know, Stereo out one, stereo out two, stereo out three, but that's not how it works. And with Mixbus, it actually uses the first two outputs for the uh, the MIDI track. So you have to start your stereo outs on three and four, and then five and six, then seven and eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and so on. And then your mono outputs actually start at seventeen. So you can see my kick drums coming out at 17, and then snare is 18, hi-hat is 19, and then the toms are 20, 21, 22, and 23. All right. So just take a look at that screen right there real fast. So that's how I had to do it. If you wanted to do, you know, all stereo tracks, you could do that as well. Just be sure you start with three and four and not one and two. Now, going back into the Stephen Slate sampler, we want to go into the mixer, and I'll show you how I assign these. So, for the kicks, I have it on nine mono, and then the snare is on 10 mono. Hi-hat's on 11 mono, and then the toms, one through four are on uh, outs uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, and, and 15. So, like I said, since the stereo outs start with, uh, you know, one and two, the overhead is on stereo out two for Steven Slate, but for Mixbus is actually three and four. So, once again, don't get confused by that. Then the room is on five and six, even though right here it says stereo three. Okay, so that's why the kick and snares don't start till 17, because you have to get past those first eight stereo pairs here in Mixbus. Um, now, I think you do have to click the monitor input to actually monitor what the drums sound like. But let's test that out real fast. Let's go to grooves. They have a fast rock petty, which is kind of cool. So here's a verse. You notice we don't hear anything. So you have to have that input selected in order for it to hear it. Now we could record the, 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 uh, these tracks as well by arming them but we're not gonna do that right at this moment. So I did go ahead and route the drums 
to a, a drum bus and also a drum NYC. And NYC just stands for, uh, it's a parallel compression trick that originated in the uh, New York City uh, recording studios. So I had the kick snare, toms, and a little bit of room. So you don't have as much of the room sent to a NYC. You can hear that right there. And you can raise some tops and some bottoms and maybe cut some mids. You know, I have it on compression. Pretty high ratio. So anyway, you probably want to take that track and just blend it back in to the original track there. Uh, but yeah, that is my drum bus setup. If you have any questions for me, uh, feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, be sure to subscribe. And uh, I am Dr. McFarland. I will see you in the next video.